Hi, welcome back. This is March's grocery haul and some. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that Sarah got too because it's here. And Sarah's here, so she's my camera lady if you don't know. Um, but yeah, so let's just get these out of the way. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of drinks this month because for one thing, I actually did fetch this month. If you don't know what Fetch is, basically it's one of those like point systems where you scan your receipt and it gives you points and certain items give you more points and once you get enough points, you get to redeem them for like gift cards or something or enter soup steaks or whatever. Um, I actually did that this month for the first time in a while actually. So I needed to buy a lot of drinks. I'm not necessarily upset about that because I go through drinks pretty quickly around here because I am a very thirsty person. Um, so, yeah, um, I just have one of each here because there's a lot, um, they're over there, but, um, I got Baja Blast Mountain Dew because they had an offer where any Mountain Dew was like a thousand points each and you could redeem it three times. So I got three different Mountain Dews. I got Baja Blast and regular. I also have the frostbite or something like that but it's in one of the other bags I'm not entirely sure where it is but you'll see that eventually that one just fell out on its own so we're not even going to talk about it um likewise they also had a deal for Pepsi cherry Pepsi to be specific what a tragedy you have I to bought, get cherry Pepsi I bought three of them because that's how many times I could redeem it and I'm not upset about it because I like the cherry flavored anyway so whatever I have a lot of soda oh well I'll drink it it's not like it's gonna go to waste speaking of more soda this was not for fetch this is just this is genuinely something that I wanted to pick up um, this is new it's the spiced coke these are the mini cans because I prefer the mini cans over the regular cans just because I don't know I like them they're cute um, I'd say portion control, but like I bought a lot of soda, so I can't really use that excuse. Although technically that is why I like it better. Anyway, um, I can only find this at Giant Eagle, so I picked it up, and it's raspberry spiced Coke. So it's raspberry flavored, and I love raspberry flavored, so. I like this a lot, it's really good. <clears throat> I also picked up my Sam's water i was gonna get the big bottles but sarah bought me like a one liter of bottle the other day one liter of water the other day and i haven't used any of it yet so i mostly use these for when i'm making soup because i don't trust the water that comes out of my faucet but that's another story for another day um so yeah i bought these i like the little bottles because they're cute so and sam's water is one of my favorites because it just tastes the best So I'm just going to put these over here just to kind of clear up space and I'm going to go on to the bags that I have beside me. Um, these are mostly from the Dollar Tree. I already got that one that was over there. Um, we have some birthdays coming up so that's what most of this is. They don't watch our videos so I don't, well, they might watch our videos but considering this is going on my private channel that they don't know exists, I don't feel bad for showing you. Um, so. We have four birthdays, technically more, but four main birthdays that were, <sighs> there's still so many actually now that I think about it, but we're just talking about the four, okay? Um, so three of the birthdays is going to be a combined birthday party, so um, for all three of the people, I got them each a ring pop. This one is a sour ring pop. This one is Freeze Ring Pops. I don't know what those are. And these are just the OG Ring Pops. I figured get them their own bag. Why not? They're all siblings, so <coughs> it stops them from fighting. Next are these. I love these. These are canals. Canals? I don't know how to pronounce it. But they're just little tiny packs of gum, like chiclet style gum. And they come five of four flavors. There's four flavors, five of each. 
So what I plan on doing is there's four birthdays, so I'm just gonna give them all one of each flavor. Makes sense, I think. Um, and there actually might be one extra flavor, one extra of each flavor, now that I think about it. I think, I don't know. But, anyway, moving on. Um, this is not for the birthday. This is a card that my brother asked me to pick up, a sympathy card. I'm not going to go into detail with it because why would I? I'm just going to, I mean, it's pretty. Hmm? You can see the cover. It's nothing fancy inside, but it's, it's nice. I need to give that to my brother when I'm done. Um, for one of the birthday peoples is a little girl. I think she's turning eight, I think. But she is all things like girly and magical and like, you know, pretty. So I picked her up this um, like fidget spinner poppet pen. Yeah, it's a fidget spinner poppet pen. And try saying that five times fast. And it's unicorns. For another one of the birthday people, she's turning 13. And she's like real, I know, she's real into like her faith, which is great. Um, so she will love stuff like this. I found this at Dollar Tree. I thought it was really pretty. It says, love bears all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never ends. It's a little cross. And I think she'll like it a lot because that is absolutely her thing. And then these, okay, these are mine. Uh, I have this, like, candy jar that I put in my um, apartment. It had love hearts in it, but I gave those all to one of the people that came for the housewarming. <coughs> it's time to switch it out. So I got a ton of jelly beans because tis the season, and I only wanted one specific flavor. And then I had something broke. I blacked out for five minutes, and I had a ton of <laughs> jelly beans. <laughs> she did put some of them back. Yeah, well, our Dollar Tree has started to implement the more than dollar thing, so. Well, they've already had the five section. Well, I wasn't complaining but... about that because I knew that was a thing. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't complaining about the dollar twenty-five because who cares about a quarter? I wouldn't complain about dollar seventy-five. But once it reaches two dollars and more, it's not Dollar Tree. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, this was the one that I wanted. This was one of the ones that was not a dollar. This was like three something. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. You're leaning. It's my back. Keep going. Um, I wanted these so bad, I could not find them anywhere. Well, they were at five below. <laughs> Um, I think they would have been more at five below, and then they not by played. much. I think they were like three twenty five, so not by much. Oh, then actually they would have been cheaper, because that was three fifty. So, <coughs> yeah, but these are the ones that I really wanted. I love Swedish fish, mm -hmm. so yeah. Um, but I got those, and then I got a lot of ones that we've tried in the past. Um, I never link anything, but if you know me, and you know us from our other channel somehow, we've done jelly bean taste tests in the past. Like every year, but this is the only one that was new for this year, so we, we're not we didn't bother. We didn't actually do any this year, just for that reason. Um I have jello flavored. Can't believe you got the jello ones again. They were not good. Um, yeah, but I probably won't eat them. I just kinda like how they're like just the shapes are random. Like they don't aren't jelly bean shaped, you know? They just kinda do their own thing. I got the Warhead Sour Jelly Beans. The Kool-Aid jelly beans. Those were good. Those, I think, were my favorite. These are for Rayleigh, our, the same person that's getting the cross. She likes pink, I think. You would have seen her if you were ever on our combined channel. And these are the now and later ones. So, um, I have a bowl over here, and when I get done, I'm just going to put all these into the bowl, mix them up, and then put them as many as I can into that jar, and then the rest will go to the church. Because they'll eat anything, pretty much. So, I'm actually going to stick these back in here. That was longer than I expected it to be. 
Um, moving on. Still the Dollar Tree is... Oh, my bag. Sarah's bag. Uh, Sarah was in charge of buying the... Sarah and I are going half-seas on the gifts, pretty much, so... I bought the gifts themselves. Sarah bought the bags and the cards, so... Mostly because this all was a thing that happened shortly after we all found out that, hey, yeah, uh, I ran out of money. And then, like, literally the next day, Tina's like, hey, party. Mm hmm So, <laughs> um, this is a bag. I don't know if this is going to Caden or Gage. One of them will get that one, and the other one will get this one. That's all I know doesn't really matter. I have no preference. These two, however, well, this one I have. This will be Jaylin's because, like I said, she's all things, like, girly. Um, this is just a bag that Sarah refused to leave behind. It's cute! Uh, she has no idea what she's going to use it for. I have for. a big idea, but I'll cross that bridge when I get there. It's a robot. It's adorable. I want to boop his non-existent nose. This one is for Rayleigh. Bestie. I thought this one was really pretty. Like, it's not, like in your face like pink girly but I think it's like really pretty. It is really pretty. <laughs> Me on the other hand I went I don't girly. exactly know what these are for but she got a whole bunch of them. Uh, that one is my version for Rayleigh because we decided to do separate things for Rayleigh. Yeah because Rayleigh is best. And then those are for the rest of my birthdays for out this year for the ladies that I buy stuff for. So there's this pack mm -hmm. with the butterfly and this one with the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. This one has a dragonfly and this one has daisies. Mm -hmm. And then a so many crap cards. ton of cards. Um, it all started because I realized that I needed a card for my grandmother's birthday, who is also this month, by the way. I need my wallet eventually. Oh. I have all my receipts in my I, wallet. I don't know where that is. It's in my backpack. Oh. Um, okay, so do you want to go grab that and I will just do a top-down version sure. view of the cards? Oh, careful. Okay, so... As you can see, we have many cards. I'm going to try my best to show these to you easily. I don't know how that will work. So there's this one, which I believe is for Sarah's grandmother. There's just a little, you know, look-see. Then there's this one, which is for one of the boys. This one is mine for Rayleigh. It's really pretty. This one is, um, I don't know whose this one is. This is just uh, for, one this one's bag. just for, like, you know, they were 50 cents, so Sarah wanted to make a dollar. It'll go with the robot. This one is another boys one. Again, the boys really, we don't really know the boys much, so they don't really have, like, specific. Technically speaking, I know Caden a lot more than the other one because I've taught Caden in Sunday yeah. school. This is Sarah's one for Rayleigh. Uh, no, this is Jada. Um, not Jada. Jalen. Jalen. Yes. And this one is Sarah's for Rayleigh. So, those are those. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. So this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> Usually you don't see me. Also, I need to fix that. I don't know why I started putting those in the envelopes, but I have. Because that's what you do. Um, I mean, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know about you, but I'm just going to put my stuff together immediately and leave it, like, on the floor or something. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put these aside. Um... Sorry, there's a couple of receipts just floating around. Um, my wallet with all the other receipts. Uh, this is my bag of stuff. We also went to Five Below. I should preference by saying we went to Five Below. I mean, they would have never guessed by the bag itself. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the majority of like the present presents uh, for, you know. Actually, I have another Dollar Tree bag somewhere. I think I see it, but I'm, I'll just get to that eventually. Um, so these are for the boys. I got them each a Nerf gun because I don't know what to get for boys because, you know, any age boy, it doesn't matter. But these are teenage boys specifically, so they're even scarier. Um, I figured they like to shoot each other. And that way they're not going to get in trouble, though we might. Oh, well. Um, for Jalen, I got her some gummy bear chop. 
Um, for Rayleigh and the boys, I got these like mini micro Lego blocks. I got a grill and a toaster for the boys. It's so nice to know that they have them in our store and now. And I got this mixer for Rayleigh. I figured the pieces are going to be too small for Jalen, so I didn't bother. Um, I got a ton of these because, um, you know, uh, they're foldable, foldable chair phone stands. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to use this as a tripod. Um, maybe. I don't know how far it's going to lean back or anything. But I got this light pink one for me. I got a black and a blue one for the boys, and I got a hot pink one for Rayleigh. I think they're so cute. And then I got one of each of these for, one for Rayleigh, one for Jalen. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to give Rayleigh the pink one, or no, I think, maybe I'll give Rayleigh the purple one just to kind of break up all the pink. Mm. Plus, the pink screams Jalen. Oh, definitely. Those are cute. Did they have any other colors? Uh, they had ones that were, like, multicolors. Ooh. And they might have had more that were like this, but I just went with the first two, like, solid colors that I saw. Now, are those, like, actual bracelet bracelets, or I are think, they anklet I type? think they're bracelets, but I mm. think they're big enough that you could wear them as anklets, especially Jalen. <laughs> Jalen is small, but I'm asking for me because those are really cute, but I have a very fat wrist. Mm. I think they'd be fine, because I'll stretch a little bit. Mm. Um, Sarah and I both got one of these. Sarah's is in the bag that's <laughs> beside me. But these are fidgets. Five Below has had such good fidgets coming in lately. And um, these are little pink palettes, and they're clicky. My family is going to hate me for it, but I am um, in love. I got this one. This is like a pastel one. But let me get into Sarah's bag here. I bunny eared it. I apologize. This is the, like, primary color one, and this is the pastel one. I love pastels, so, obviously. But it's kind of funny because um, I was, like, doing this while we were, like, just hanging around the dollar bins at Five Below. And I told Sarah, I said, I put it down in the cart because I was going to drive people nuts. And one of the workers was like, what is that? What? Where is it? I need it. And I had to, like, show it to her, and she, like, immediately went and bought it and put mm. it aside for herself. So, what color did she go for? The darks or the lights? I'm not sure. Hmm. I just kind of handed her one. Ah. But these are really good. I really, love really it. Good. I like them a lot. Happy birthday to me. Uh, this hey, is oh. also for Rayleigh. Though, to be fair, I might just open these up mm. and go through them and just, like, kind of divide them amongst things because I feel like that could be a good idea. So I might just divide these. Um, they're just like prayers and psalms and stuff. These are and, the ones that are on the... Yeah. There's six choices. Figured I'd show off what they were. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to move your stuff <clears throat> to the side. Um, those are $5, by the way. Um, there's... Sarah got this. Three twenty-five. I don't know who this is for. Me? Gunner. Who? The other kid that's having a birthday. Oh, fair. I didn't get him anything. No, that's why I got the dino. There's a lot of kids in our church having birthdays this month. Yep. I felt bad because we're going out for the other ones. There's, and then also, I was like, mm. <clears throat> There's also Rowan. All she wanted was one of those squishy bears. Yeah, they didn't have those actually anymore. I didn't see them. <laughs> Poor thing. <clears throat> Sarah also picked herself up one of these vinyl mystery figures. Hoping for Eeyore. Eeyore. Um, and she also picked up one of these dig dino things. Yeah, that's going to complete the dino bag for the church. His name is Bentley, by the way. Yeah. You always forget. I do. It's fine. We don't really know him at all. But they're new, so give us a little bit. Plus, uh... Okay. So... Now the chaos actually begins. This is all the birthday stuff, mind you. Not even all of it, because there's still a little bit more in another bag. Which I think I see. So... I think it's this bag. Um, yeah. So, for... Um, okay, so Sarah's using my phone to film. But our friend Tina is the mother of all of... The children, except for Rayleigh, who's having a birthday, Jalen, Caden, and Gage. 
So I messaged her and I'm like, what the crap do they like? Because I have no idea. I also mentioned, messaged Robbie, who is the dad of Rayleigh. But um, Tina said one of them likes Jolly Ranchers and um, Takis. And the other one likes peanuts and red vines or red ropes, something like that. Um, I'm going to have to consult the, you know, message whenever I pack it because I don't remember. But I got all kinds of stuff. I got Takis, the Blue Heat Takis. I couldn't find actual Jolly Ranchers, but I got Jolly Ranchers gummies. I figured those would be good enough because I, I did not see any Jolly Ranchers at our Dollar Tree. I got Red Vines. I think these are close enough to Red Ropes. I don't know if Red Ropes is a brand name or just what they call Twizzlers, but I figured Red Vines was a safe alternative. Reese's for Rayleigh. Lollipops for Jalen. I found some Takis peanuts. Mm. I'm going to put these in the same bag as the Takis, obviously. That would have never And guessed. the other one likes plain peanuts, so I just got plain peanuts. And then also for Jalen, I got her this lip gloss keychain thing with like a little pom pom. Mm. And I got her some water based nail polish. Looks like donuts. And also this little lip balm set. So those are all the birthday presents and stuff. So I think that's I think that's good enough for all of that. So moving on. Should I clear the table first? Uh yeah, I'll pause it. I'm back. Uh, we just kind of tossed everything onto the it's a mess, but so is my life. Um, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> so am I, honestly. Uh, moving on. Uh, these were not for fetch, but I've been wanting to try these. They had them at Walmart, but for some reason they won't clear. So I bought them somewhere else. You got it at Grocery Outlet. Yeah, I got them at Grocery Outlet. So there's, this is a double pack. There's dual duo snacks two flavors one bag um so there are chocolate and double chocolate brownie batter these are crave basically just crave cereal just you know in a cutesy form mm. those weren't for fetch i just wanted to try them and you know do you remember how much they were <sighs> like 3.99 maybe I thought they were like two forty nine. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. They were a lot cheaper than Walmart though, because Walmart wants like five bucks. So I picked up three of these Taline coated peanuts. They're Japanese style coated peanuts, and these are really good. I had one bag the other day that Sarah bought for me, and I love. I like them. These are thirty cents a bag, I think, and they were like three for a dollar, or thirty three cents, something like that. But they're really good. Um, I also picked up. Oh, from, I found a receipt. <laughs> added to the collection. I also picked up from Grocery Outlet a big bag of goldfish. I didn't need this big bag of goldfish, but Sarah talked me into it. They were cheap. They were like two ninety nine. Okay. I love goldfish. I still have some though from the housewarming party, but I don't care. I will eat these for sure. So, and it's one of the big resealable bags. So this will last me a good couple weeks. Now the question is, are you gonna dump the others into that bag? Those are different flavors. The other one is a regular cross contamination. I don't think it really matters that much. Sorry, my footage. <laughs> uh, moving on. Oops, go over there. What if I don't wanna? Uh, Giant Eagle. So these were the for fetch, but honestly, I've been wanting these for a while and just never bit the bullet and got them. Also, I kind of kept forgetting about them. Mm. But they're Uncrustables. I had to buy three of them. Well, I didn't have to buy three of them, but I did. Um, so I got grape jelly and peanut butter because Sarah will eat these ones. So those Heck are yeah. yours. You're welcome. Thank you. I also got 
a chocolate flavored hazelnut spread sandwich. So like a Nutella version. Uh, Sarah doesn't like hazelnut. I she can't have like it. Nut. She I doesn't can't. like nuts at all. Hazelnut doesn't like me. But I'm not a big jelly person, so I didn't bother getting the jelly one. So I got the hazelnut one. And I also got the peanut butter and honey. So Another one I couldn't have, even if I wanted it. Yeah, Sarah can't really have honey. Well, you can have some honey, just not a whole lot. No. Um, like, you can have, like, honey-flavored things. You can't have straight-up honey, which is what this is. Um, I don't know if I'll like these or not. I don't think I've ever had Uncrustables, but I've always wanted them, mm -hmm. being a child in, like, the early 2000s. So... Yes, yes. I just don't think I've ever had one before, so that'll be fun. But I've been wanting one since, like, Christmas. <laughs> uh, then there's this bag. This is, um, well, I had to buy this for my fetch. It's Hubba Bubba Mini Gum in Skittles flavors. I'm intrigued. Um... What a horrible tragedy. You're going to have to have even more gum. Yeah, I had to buy quite a bit of gum. Not as much as gum as I've bought in the past for Fetch. Because there was one time where it made me buy like 30 packs of gum. That was so much gum. It was so much gum. Um, but this one I kind of wanted to try anyway, so I wasn't upset about it. I actually made a comment to Sarah about it on like Monday, I think. I was like, hey, that's cute. Like Skittles flavored gum. So I had to buy it. So whatever. This is an item that I was going to pick up anyway. It was just cheaper at Giant Eagle. It's some little sh small boys of orange juice because I love me some orange juice. And this is the Simply Orange version. Pulp free because pulp is gross. There, I said it. I don't like pulp. Does anyone actually like pulp? Girl, I'm sure there's some people out there, some weirdos. I hope I offended you weirdos. Oh my goodness, that bag is just a bag of chaos. Oh yeah. Um, so this is actually Sarah's for the Ren Fair, I believe. No, for Christmas. it's Christmas, for which Christmas. is why I wasn't in such a hurry to get it. She wasn't in a hurry to get it, but it was on sale. Hmm? It, it, only by 10 cents, but I figured while it was on sale, I might as well grab it. So this is just a bunch of cocoa. I think there's like 12 mm -hmm. different flavors. We're halfway there. There's a mint. Caramel, Arctic White, Mocha, Hazelnut, Salted Caramel and Chocolate, Peanut Butter and Chocolate, Ooh. Chocolate Supreme, sorry I have a headache, uh, Cinnamon which I'm slightly intrigued by. Mm -hmm. Raspberry, which I'm not intrigued by because fruit just does not sound good with that. Um, s'more, which I'm also slightly intrigued by. And French vanilla. The guy that was ringing us up actually said that what he does is he takes one French vanilla and mixes it with a different one. He says that makes it really good, so no, keep that in mind. For reference, the only person that... Well, the only one that's going to someone that is pretty much predetermined is the hazelnut because for the most part they don't have a lot of allergies the ladies at our church but to play it safe uh the hazelnut is going to go to the only person that is going to have their box with a name on it and that is maggie i know for a fact she does not have an issue with hazelnut so uh yeah <laughs> help the one that we were missing was strawberry that's the only one that was out of stock. Okay, that is the mom bag done. Moving on. <laughs> let me go ahead and grab another bag. Good luck. Some of them are heavy. Oh, God, that one is heavy. Help. All right. Sorry about that. We're back. Um, had to get more bags. So I have two here beside me. These are the two heaviest. So let's just get straight into it. Okay. If I could not fight the bag, that'd be grand. So, um, this is not what I wanted, but I could not, for the life of me, find it anywhere. I don't know what happened. I got some chocolate milk because I wanted some chocolate milk. I don't use regular milk very often. 
That's because I don't just straight up drink it. That's nasty. Um, I wanted chocolate milk, but I just wanted to get like three of the very small bottles, but I, they just did not exist today. So I got like, what is this, a quart? Half a gallon. So whatever. I picked up one of my coffees because, you know. That's probably going to go to the concert, isn't it? Maybe. And I also picked up a small container of strawberries. I'm not going to show that just yet until I reach the others. Um, moving on, this is another thing that I had to buy for Fetch. Were these immunity juices? I'm probably going to keep one and then take the other three upstairs because, yeah, I had to buy four of these. Um, but I'm sure my dad will drink them. He probably should drink them, to be fair. Um, but they have vitamins C and E and antioxidants. And it's a good source of zinc made with real fruit juice. Yep. This is the immunity plus immunity, I guess. Uh, it's orange mango flavored. We had to buy these a couple years ago for Sarah's swag bucks. And we tried both of the flavors that they had. I don't remember, though, which one we liked. Because I know there was one that we didn't like. I think the other one was, like, blueberry and, acai. like, cranberries or something like that. Like blueberry acai or something like that. But this but is the one that Dad liked. which one we liked and which one we didn't like, so. And Dad's the one that drank it also. Maybe I'll give <laughs> Sarah one to take for her Oh, dad. no. What have I done? I'll, take, I'll give you one for your dad. I'll keep one, and then I'll give two to my dad and force, them, force him to drink them. Um, this one's seen better days, but it's fine. It's all right. We'll take the gimp. Um, there's a third. Like I said, there is a fourth somewhere. I just don't know if it's coming up or not. Okay, well, that bag was just juice. Yep. That's why it was so heavy. Oh, here's the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why that one was so heavy. <laughs> It's just going right. to go on the floor for now. Here is the... Bag of no reason. Frostbite Mountain Dew. Like I said, I do have a whole, like, six-pack of that. But that one jumped out of the thing um, before I bought it, so... It was very rude. Um, Barilla. I had to get $6 worth of Barilla, so I did. I picked up an angel hair because that's my favorite. Um, and I picked up a Didalina because that's Sarah's favorite. It is. Uh, I have more, but they're not in this bag. I also picked up a two-pack of Spam because I do love me my Spam. And this will last me a while because I won't make it. I won't use it right away more than likely so I also picked my dad up two chicken gravies and two brown gravies because he'll use those when he makes potatoes and I picked myself up two of my pastaroni because these are easy to make and I can make them in the microwave which is great because my oven doesn't work nor does my stove or my dishwasher I hope the dishwasher works. Oh no, it doesn't do anything. Oh. It's just there for looks. Anyway, yeah, pretty much all of the appliances are very, very old and don't work. It's whatever. We're in the process of trying to renovate them, but it's a slow process. It's a slow process. Um, part of the, um, I don't know where the other one is because my stupid brain said separate them even though it didn't end up separating them. Part of the fetch things that are also going to go for the children's birthday presents are Skittles. I had to buy $5 worth. and So I have a sour Skittle also somewhere. But I got the Skittles Littles, which I'm thinking will go to Jalen. Mm -hmm. And the Skittles, the regular Skittles, and the sour Skittles will go to the boys. Whoever likes the Takis will probably get the sours. Um, <clears throat> moving on. Okay. They look there now. So, something that, well, something I saw that I want to try, which I'm going to rope Sarah into doing a taste test video for, so look for that. 
It's probably going to be on my channel. I don't know. And it might be on both, depending on if I can get the video off of you. You can do that if you want. Well, I don't have your login, so that might be an issue. I mean, I could just upload it to the to yeah, my channel. You too. could. I have that login. You do have anyway, that login. Anyway, um, I saw these and I was really intrigued because I do like these ice sparkling waters. Um, so this is a collab that they did with Starburst. So they have a lemon one, strawberry, and cherry. Um, and personally, in my opinion, I like the, the strawberry and the lemons the best out of the Starburst anyway. So Sarah's probably going to like the cherry the most because she doesn't like either of these. I but, like lemon you know. more than I like strawberry. Strawberry is like the worst. Yeah, These are really good for you, I guess. There's only five calories in them, so there's really nothing to them. Um, but yeah. I'm not looking forward to opening these and they're going to explode. Um, another thing that I did buy for Fetch, but that we can also do a taste test video, we're going to just put with those, are these Culture Pops. They are um, probiotic sodas. Um, this is wild berries and lime. I really am hoping these taste good because I'm going to be so sad if they don't. But if they do, then that's good because I guess they'll be good for you, right? Mm -hmm. There's only 45 calories, um, 8 sugars, 8 grams of sugar, 10 grams of carbohydrates, 45 milligrams of sodium. It seems like it's more like, um, like clear pop, you know, mm, clear pop carbonated good. water. So there's that one, and there's also orange, mango, and lime. The fact that there's sugar in it is so far already off to a better start. This one is strawberry and rhubarb. I don't know what rhubarb is, but um, this one is watermelon and lime. There's a lot of lime. I'm sensing. Mm -hmm. Um, we got another of the wild berries because I could buy six of them, but our store only had four flavors, so we doubled up on two of them. I believe we doubled up on the orange and mango. Orange and mango and the berries. Ironically, though, not going oh to the berries. Um, and also I picked up one of the Olipop. I could also get that for my fetch, but they only had one flavor. Um, so this is a pre prebiotic pre soda, um, so supports digestive health. It's strawberry vanilla flavored, um, and it also has sugar, so that's great. <laughs> the app didn't even said that they and sold again, it in store. And again, it is, um, oof. Um. Sorry, it's carbonated water. Sorry, I was reading on. It has stevia in it, so I'm not... I don't have oh, high hopes no. for that. Oh, no. I don't think... These ones? I didn't look. I didn't see it say anything about stevia. Stevia is kind of like a... Sugar substitute. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. But the other ones don't seem to have that, so hopefully those will be better. So what I'm hearing is that Ollie goes first, and then we drown our sorrows. Yes, we don't. And everything else. Um, I picked up one of these baby corns. This was not for fetch. Sarah thought it would be because I only got one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I want, I've been having a, like, I really want baby corn, even though I'm pretty sure I don't like it. So I just got one just to, you know, show myself that I don't like it, I guess. Uh, but it was only a dollar, so I didn't really feel that bad about it. And if I do like it, then that's great. I mean, the only baby corn that you like is the one that you accidentally grow every year. <laughs> um, I picked up my kosher baby dills because I I like these. I like the little pickles because ever since I had COVID a couple years ago, I can't really handle many pickles, which is really sad because I like pickles. So I picked up the little ones. Okay, here's the start of the downfall. The gum. I had to pick up six of these, but I had to buy them in pairs, so I split them up into three different checkouts. So these, they're just kind of in, <laughs> in random bags. So this is the start of them. This is the respawn gum. I'll give them to Sarah. 
Um, one of them, that's the uh, watermelon pomegranate, I believe. Mm -hmm. And this one is cool mint. I've had the watermelon pomegranate before. Honestly, the cool mint, I would probably. But I haven't tried maybe? the cool mint yet. It's green tea. Mm. Well, oh, their whole thing is there for like focus. Um, mm. So it says that the respawn gum is good for mental focus. Um, it has vitamins B5, B6, B12, and niacin, as well as green tea extract. And the respawn mental focus and reaction time the pomegranate watermelon has all the same vitamins and green tea as well so it has all the same stuff um but i've had this one before it's pretty good um it's it's black though it's like very it's like black um but again these are gonna go into some of the kids gifts and then i'll have two packs left over probably just for myself the or jalen one I mean, Jalen will eat gum. True. Maybe Chew do the gum. Maybe go cool mint for the girls because they're cool. Mm -hmm. They're good. I don't know why it went down there. Okay, it just did. That one's the one that goes to the floor. Anyway, moving on. This is my last bag. It should be the lighter out of the three, <laughs> though it's probably still heavy. Oh. <laughs> You good? Do you need help, ma'am? I was just trying not to destroy everything else on the table as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, here's the rest of the pasta. Mm. It's even more dented uh, now. This is the one that Becky likes, so I got that one from her. This one I got just because it was in clearance, so it saved me a couple cents. It literally saved me 44 cents. Mm -hmm. um, but this is Ritchie. I have no preference on who this goes to because... If not, you'll eat it yourself. We use whatever, and pretty much so does Sarah, so. Whatever. I picked up two breakfast bowls. Well, I picked up three, but these are the two. Sausage with gravy. And I picked up one of just the plain sausage. Why are you doing that? Because it'll block the camera otherwise. That's going to fall. No, it's not. You sure? Yeah, the other one can still stay there. It's fine. I picked up three of my dino fries, poppin' chickens. These are, you know, little popping chickens, chicken, popcorn chickens, there we go, with fries that are shaped like dinos. They used to be smiley fries, but now they're not, so. Okay. Here is two more of the gums and the sour Skittles. And I bought three of these for Fetch as well. Um, Quaker oatmeal. These are all going to Sarah's dad because I don't eat oatmeal. Um, but they got me like a thousand points each, so why not? Uh, this one is blueberry strawberry. And there's also apples and cinnamon. And maple brown sugar. Which is his ultimate favorite, but he does like the others. I wanted to try these for a while and finally bit the bullet. I don't know if they're any good, but I like boiled eggs, but I cannot for the life of me boil an egg. So I bought some already pre-boiled. I'm gonna try them, and if they're good, then they'll be great because I could probably just live off of these easily. So, whatever. Don't tell the chickens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is another thing that I had to buy for Fetch. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if anybody's going to actually like it, but, you know. Uh, these are Sir Kensington Better Every Bite Korean-inspired Kojung. Go, 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 Jang. I don't know. Powerful fermented chilies with sweet and savory notes. This is everything sauce. Um, 
I'm thinking Bob will like it. And if Bob likes it, Albert and Warren will probably like it. So I'm sure that I can pawn it off on people. But these uh, were on clearance, actually. So they saved me a little bit. I was going to get a different flavor, but the other flavor was not on sale. So we just stuck with this. I bought five of them. So, you know. I also picked up the Lita Cups. This was not part of Fetch. This was just something that I wanted to pick up. I got Kraft last month, but I don't like Kraft. It doesn't taste very good. So I got Velveeta. Velveeta should be a better bet. It certainly is more expensive, that's for sure. You're just rolling with it now, aren't you? Yep. And the last of the gums. And also for fetch, I needed to buy this Mali, Mali, I don't know, Mali, Dijon mustard. Technically, it could have been anything, but our store only had Dijon mustard. So I got five of them again. Um, but a lot of people at church like mustard. I'm sure Bob might like it. And if Bob likes it, then Warren and Albert would like it. And if ultimately nobody likes it, we put them in the pantry boxes and they go to whoever else and it becomes their problem. It's good till 2025. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm done. Woo! Uh, so that is my haul for this month. Now I get to go put everything away and then move on to more crap.